Hi, it's Rhoda from the West Springfield Public Library. Welcome to Science Rocks. I'm here at beautiful Mitten Egg Park in West Springfield, Massachusetts. Now when I think of fall, I think of pumpkins, apple picking, and corn mazes and fall foliage. Our trees have just started to change color. Take a walk with me and learn about the many shades of our fall trees. Hi, it's official. Fall has arrived. September 22nd begins what is called the autumnal equinox. There are two moments in the year when the sun is exactly above the equator and day and night are of equal length. Since day and night are nearly exactly the same, 12 hours, all over the world the event is called the equinox, which literally means equal night. Any other day of the year, either the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere is slightly toward the sun, but on the two equinoxes, the tilt of the Earth's axis is perpendicular to the sun's rays. Which means that while we're in the northern hemisphere are enjoying the start of fall, the southern hemisphere is enjoying the start of spring. Well, we've all heard of photosynthesis, right? Plants take in water, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and release oxygen and glucose. Oxygen is released into the atmosphere and the glucose, or sugar, is used to feed the plant in a process called photosynthesis. The reaction is made possible through a chemical chlorophyll, which gives the leaves their green appearance. There are four pigments that are responsible for our leaves color. The chlorophyll, which we mentioned that are green, xanthophyll, for yellow, keratin, like carrots, are gold or orange, and then anthocyanin gives a beautiful red, violet, or even bluish color. Leaves are brown when there is no more photosynthesis pigments, and then only tannins are left. When they change and how brilliantly the colors are depend upon a variety of factors, like temperature and drought and the amount of sunlight they have available to them. Chlorophyll, keratin, xanthophyll, and anthocyanin are also responsible for the colors in all fruits and vegetables, including corn, pumpkins, beans, peppers, tomatoes, and berries. Now today our project is talking about chromatography. Now, how does chromatography work? Chromatography is the process of separating a mixture by passing it through another medium. In our case, it's going to be coffee filters. So we are going to mix the leaves and rubbing alcohol and use the coffee filters to separate the pigment from the mixture. The more soluble the substance is from the pigments, the farther they travel up the filter paper strip. Different parts of the mixture would travel up the strip at different rates. In your kit, you should receive three mini cups with lids, each containing rubbing alcohol, three coffee filter strips, and leaves. You may go to your yard and pick your own leaves if you want. Begin by cutting up one of the leaves. You want to make your cuts very small. Eventually, we'll make them into a paste. We want as much of the chemicals out of the leaf as possible. Next, pour a little bit of the rubbing alcohol and take a spoon and start grinding the leaves until they make a mash. Um, you, again, you want to get as much of the chemicals out of the leaves as you possibly can. Once you have tried to make them into a paste, you're going to add them to the solution of one of the cups. Place the lid back on securely so it doesn't leak, and you are welcome to give it a little shake. You can already start seeing the, the chloroform separating from the leaves. Continue to do that with all three of the leaves that you have in each of the containers. Once the solution has sat for approximately 15 minutes, you will take a filtered piece, you will take the coffee filter, pick it up, fold it in half, 
and only put one side in the liquids. The other side would stay out. Go ahead and do that to all three of the solutions. And now we sit and we wait. You see the chromatography happening here at 10 minutes. Now 20 minutes. And this is at 30 minutes. The, you can see a little bit of the red in that strip and definitely see the yellow on top of the green chloroform. If you were if your leaf has more color to it, then you'll probably see more of a difference between them. This is after one day of them sitting. So that's it for this month's Science Rocks. Go out and enjoy that beautiful fall weather, and we'll see you next month. Bye for now.